Hello everyone, it's System Labs, and this is Stoblock. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. I'm feeling a lot better today. Not 100%, but uh, yeah, I'm still on the NyQuil, but uh, I don't feel as derpy. So, we'll see how it goes. My voice doesn't seem as rough, and uh, yeah, in between episodes, I did some stuff and things. I guess, first thing I did was I stopped wearing this. I, I guess it's not really doing anything, but it's definitely something I did here. I'm gonna need that later. Let's grab that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was moving too fast. Like, if you look at our running speed now, because we have the, the you know, the speed on our leggings, I'm insanely fast. <laughs> and with that extra, I guess, flight speed, it was making it too quick. It just made it too fast. It was a little too much to control, so I decided to kind of take it off and just run with this, right? So I think that's going to work out a little better. Also, went ahead and made this. This is a AOT from actually Additions. It's an all-in-one tool, which basically makes it so... It can cut wood, it can do hoeing, it can um, be a pick, it can be a shovel, all in one tool. It has 6,000 durability, but that doesn't even matter because we have uh, this repair talisman that we got from a loot bag early on, I guess the loot chest, and it just automatically repairs it. But I went ahead and enchanted it, I threw efficiency 5 on it, and a breaking 3, and uh, mending. So even if I had to repair it with experience and effects, not a big deal, so... Pretty sweet and uh, works pretty well and that way you guys don't have to get mad at me every time I go to break wood. Anyway, let's go over here and kind of take a look. Didn't do anything with chickens, I guess, at all in between episodes. I was too busy working on all this. So you can see here, we get a whole bunch of different kinds of essence. So I threw uh, all these different seeds in here. So I went ahead and just kind of crafted seed after seed after seed. And it wasn't really any new resource we didn't have except for like one or two. I think, yeah, this, this was one of the new ones here. This was rubber. Uh, this one can actually just go and make the plastic, which is pretty nice. And I just put these in here about, I don't know, five minutes ago. So I don't have much in them yet. But uh, they'll just kind of keep building up essence. This is pretty awesome. And uh, we have a lot of materials that will just be coming in here for the rest of the pack. So quite happy with that. I'm not going to go over all the seeds. The only one that was really special. What's wrong with that one? Oh, I don't have a seed in there. I'm going to need another seed. Uh, the only one that was really good, I guess, was it this one here? Oh, that's, what is that? Oh, mandolin. I was going to do mandolin, but decided not to. Uh, what is that? Nature seed. What did I do with that mandolin seed? I might as well have it if we have an open one. <laughs> I'll figure that out later on. Uh, the only thing that was new, though, was the draconium, and I can't find it. Where is draconium, man? We have a pretty little draconium seed around here somewhere. It might be right there. Is that draconium? Yeah, so now we have the draconium essence, which wasn't hard to make. I mean, it's just the seeds, four draconium, some premium, tier five crafting seed, and you're done. And that takes care of that, you know what I mean? That's just like all the seeds just taken care of. We have 50 different seeds growing simultaneously alongside of our chickens. We're just going to have resources coming out of the butt, to be honest. And uh, it's pretty awesome all around. I notice I haven't locked these. I need to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Do that. And uh, yeah, this was kind of the main thing I did in between episodes. If you kind of look behind here, it's the exact same setup that we had. So yeah, just a big long chain of water coming out of the sink. The power's on the top uh, using these. I think it's using about 200 RF is what I saw. Because we go here, yeah, 184 RF to power every one of these cloches. These lines, I think, can handle like 640 or something like that. But uh, not even important, you know what I mean? It's just doing exactly what it needs to. And, uh, yeah, we're just pumping in the bone meal in the front like we were before. And uh, this, is like I said, we'll just keep producing the entire pack. Uh, I went ahead and made these custom drawers, too. So I went ahead and made this. This is a framing table. Go ahead and make that. Make some of these frame drawers. And then you can kind of just grab different materials. So if I wanted to, I could grab some of that, some of that. I think that's all we have there. <laughs> and then, say, if I want to make a drawer out of compressed cobblestone, then dress the front of it to look like uh, primal void stone, I could do that. Okay, I also put it up here and do the edges. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you just make yourself these like really nifty uh, framed custom drawers that just look all different, right? <laughs> to fit almost any build. And uh, yeah, I used the, uh, just the, this stuff here, which was a primal void stone. Has an animated texture. I just wanted to go with that. Don't ask me why. And uh, that's what I did there. So turns out pretty good, pretty awesome. And uh, we're going to deal with this today. I want to make it so refined storage. Can see all the essence in here without having to be, you know, having me to have to come over here and grab it. So that's going to be one of the main things we work on. We're also going to work on wireless uh, refined storage. So I'll have wireless over here and grids we could access. So that's going to be another thing. And uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool in itself. I guess the last thing we're going to work on immediately is 
Uh, start pulling in all these materials. So you can see this is completely backed up. This one's completely backed up. I keep having to empty this and there's no point in it. So we need to start automatically pulling these items in the system. And I think that might be the first thing we work on here. Uh, <laughs> probably in our best benefit because uh, it is a giant mess and uh, a lot of work for me cutting kind of in between episodes here. So we're just going to build a little tunnel here, get this going. And uh, we're going to make an item. Uh, I guess, no, we don't have to do anything special for this one. Let's think of we have to do the external storages. That'll be the next part of it when we work on the seeds here. Kind of get the system to be able to see that. I just need to run a cable down here and then get it all hooked up. Do a little whitelist and this should be good to go actually. Let's do that. Uh, I guess I need to run the cable one more deep. Usually I'd worry about the cabling and the tunneling and stuff like that. But uh, we have feral flare lanterns. That's making it so mobs can't really spawn anymore. Uh, pretty much anywhere I don't want them to. So it's really not an issue. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some cable. Let's do that. Probably going to need a lot of that today. So let's just do that as well. <laughs> Why not, eh? Our crafting system just crafts this cable so quick it doesn't even matter. Uh, what is the next thing we need here? We need some uh, importers. Probably three of them if I had to kind of guess here. Let's do that. Let's grab two more of them. Awesome. That should handle that actually. So let's go down here. Get this kind of wired up as best we can. I'm going to need to access this one I think on two sides. Mostly because I think the whitelist is going to be too full. But anyway, let's get the importer right there. Let's grab, I guess, another one. So right there. And uh, let's figure out how many items we actually need to sort in this puppy. Because I think it's going to be a lot. Let's do that just so I can kind of keep track of the things really easy. So we're going to need bone. We're going to need that. We're going to need glowstone. We're going to need coal. We're going to need redstone. Grains of infinity. Lapis. Diamond. Emerald. And I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, I don't have prosperity, do I? Yeah, there's 10 items, so we're going to have to tell the system exactly what I can pull in. So we're going to want this on whitelist mode. So we're going to go ahead here. There's our first nine. And I guess right there, and there's our tenth. We should be able to grab some speed upgrades. I think I already have those crafted. So we'll just grab some of them. And uh, make it so I can pull these things in a little quicker. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now I'm thinking of it. Let's actually go back in this filter. Let's pull off the first three, I guess. And put that in the other filter. That way it's kind of pulling things from each point at the same time. Instead of trying to pull nine here. And then, you know, it just splits the load. So it'll do it a little quicker. Not that it matters after once it's going. But it's going to be nice because after this we don't have to worry about these ever getting backed up again. Which is kind of the point here. Uh, this one doesn't need a whitelist at all. Oh, did I turn this one on whitelist? No, I need it on whitelist. So it's on blacklist. It's going to do exactly the opposite I want. And uh, start pulling in chunks. <laughs> which I do not want in the system. Anyway, let's bring this down here. Just run our line, get it hooked up to the system. And this one should already be done. It's just everything will just automatically come in the system. Everything that kind of gets sieved down, we don't have to worry about it anymore. And it's taken care of. It'll just kind of make everything a little cleaner and make it so I don't have to run around as much for materials, which is kind of my goal here. So yeah, let's go see if it's pulling everything. There we go. And there we go. It's pulling stuff. It's getting the stuff and things. Uh, what's this one doing? Oh, this one's not actually hooked up. That may be helpful. Do that there. There we go. So it's pulling the redstone. It's pulling the other stuff. It's pulling from both kind of importers simultaneously. It's going to get it all in the system. And we don't have to worry about it after that point, which is pretty fantastic. Let's get everything covered up. And then kind of move on here. Let's do that. Let's do that right there. A couple of these puppies as well. <laughs> I have this guy all jacked up, don't I? Let's kind of fix that. Awesome. And I'll be able to just hide all the stuff in time. That's the joy of this building. I love just trying to figure out ways of hiding your piping and all that jazz. But, uh, yeah, like that's already pretty clean. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty sweet, I think. So yeah, we got all those items in the system now. So that is awesome. That's kind of one big issue that's taken care of. We don't have to look at it anymore. Uh, we're going to grab that. We're going to grab that. Next thing we're going to make here, we're going to kind of work on our wireless system. Let's go ahead and make a... Let's actually make crafting recipes for this. <laughs> Let's make a network transmitter. We're going to need a network receiver. Grab that. We're also going to need the network card, right? So we'll grab one of them. I think that's all the new recipes we need. So let's throw those in there. And then I guess we can go ahead and make them. So <laughs> let's make one of each. Let's do that. Let's grab one of them. Let's grab a network card. Awesome. And uh, get all that stuff out of our inventory. We also need a, what, a wireless access point? Grab one of those as well. Sweet. And I guess all we need now are a couple of those range upgrades. 
And then we'll be able to do this to all the tunnels. That is kind of the goal, right? Make it so we have wireless all around the base because right now it's kind of a hindrance. Rather than not be, right? And uh, I think we need to take, which one is it? The transmitter, right? And the receiver. So we got to take the receiver. I think we actually have to put that one down first. So the receiver, I was thinking of putting it somewhere like right here. Maybe like right there, right? So we'll take the receiver. We're going to pop that puppy in this little hole. <laughs> Do that. Then we need to take this network card, right? Oh, that's the range. We want network. But then we need to shift, I believe, and right click on that. Let's get flying right. Shift and right click. We'll look at it. It'll say it's linked to that block. So where it is sitting in the world, it's linked to. Then we're going to have to get down one of these transmitters. I guess we'll pop. Is that back there somewhere? We're on a line. Sweet. And there we go. That should be linked now. And uh, all it really needs is one of these here, right? Missing a card. There's our card. I'm not sure what goes in here. I'm curious what goes in there. I'm not really 100% sure uh, what could go in there. <laughs> like a speed upgrade is not going to work. I don't think a range or anything is going to work. Not sure what fits in that slot. Maybe I'll have to look that up. But now if I go back there, let's actually go make a crafting grid real quick. Do that. Do crafting, because uh, we might as well get one of those over there as well. Do that. Sweet, crafting grid. And uh, we should be able to set up a crafting grid and our wireless. And then we'll just kind of have access to wireless in this tunnel and all of our materials whenever we want to craft anything at any given time. So that's all our stuff right there. You know what I mean? That is pretty sweet in itself. I need to get behind here, though. So let's do that real quick. <laughs> Ugh, we're totally stuck, man. Can I fit through here? Yeah, I can. I'm not fat. Anyway, let's do that. And uh, we'll have to, I guess, run a cable down right here. Because these wireless access points actually have to sit on top of a cable, right? So we'll do that there. Pop that there. Throw in some range upgrades. And boom. Access the wireless in this tunnel. So that's simple. That's really awesome. And it takes care of one of our big issues that we've had. Which is, well, every time I'm working over here, always go need to go back to the other side of the base and kind of sort that out and now i could just do it all here and do less traveling and if i need to craft something i could just come here so pretty awesome and uh, pretty happy about that and uh, i guess the next thing we're gonna get to is maybe setting up refined storage to be able to kind of see these things uh all the essence that are in these drawers without them actually have to be in the system so i think yeah we'll get to that i'm just gonna unload all my stuff real quick and okay, like I said, the next thing we're going to do here is get this kind of hooked up to find storage. I guess we need, what do we need? We need, uh, they're called external storage. Actually, I already have a crafting recipe. This is basically an item that tells, you know, refined storage that, hey, this there's stuff stored in here. That's basically all this thing does. Uh, we're going to grab that and uh, my cable. I have all that jazz. We're going to have to link up quite a bit of cable here. Kind of get this done. But, uh. Yeah, we need to basically run a cable here. I'm going to have to dig. <laughs> I can't get over this conduit and stuff. I'm going to need to put a cable down here anyway. So let's kind of dig this out. So I'm going to have to run it kind of along here and underneath and to that drawer controller as well. But basically, we need to put an external storage on the drawer controller. So once I put it back here, so this one, and then it'll be able to see all the essence that's connected to the drawer controller. And that's the way that's going to work. Also, I should mention too with the drawer controllers, um, they can see blocks, I guess, uh, drawers up to 12 away from any given side, right? You can go from the back to the front, any direction. It's a 25 by 25 by 25 cube with the controller in the center. And that's kind of how I have this set up here. So it's 12 on each side. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, run some cable here. Let's cut ahead and kind of just do it all willy nilly, I suppose. I guess we should go that way. Right there. And uh, we're probably going to end up having to do the same thing uh, with uh, chickens and getting that all hooked up as well. But uh, once it's done, the system's going to be able to see all this stuff. And it's going to be pretty fantastic all around. But anyway, if I connect that up right there and go in here, I'm going to set the priority to 5 just so uh, refined storage doesn't try to ever put anything into these drawers that don't belong here. So if I took Essence out here and then put it back in the system, it'll try to put it inside the drawers first before anything else. But anyway, if I go in here now and I search for essence, right? Not S-E. Essence. You can see all of our different essence here. They're coming in. They're kind of getting, you know, as the numbers go up, we're going to see more and more and more. And we can take it and we use it. So if I want to make some quartz and rich now, I can do something like that. And uh, just have it. <laughs> Which is pretty fantastic. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue to do that. But we have to go ahead and run another channel here. So another line. We're just directly under that. So we can keep it kind of lined up here. Just like that. 
There we go. We'll have to go one more deep. Sweet. And pretty much do the same thing we did in the other place with the importers. But uh, we have to get over to this other door over here. Get that all lined up. And then it'll be able to see all the essence that we're producing kind of simultaneously. And, uh, that's rather fantastic when you think about it. Because <laughs> I won't have to do any traveling anymore. If I just want to make something, I can just craft it, right? I don't have to go, hey, I need a little more redstone. I don't have to do this or that or this other thing. And if I need to auto-craft, I can just make the recipes now uh, inside the system. I know some people like to set up the auto-crafting before it gets into the system. I'd rather have the system just see it all and just do the auto-crafting inside the system itself. Uh, some people like to use uh, auto-crafters and stuff like that. But uh, that's really to each their own. You know what I mean? Which method you use. I like to use the mass storage and then craft it on the other side. Because I find a lot of times when I do the auto-crafting, I end up auto-crafting things that I'm never going to use. <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah, I just like to do it this way. Anyway, to each their own. Like I said, there's no wrong way to do it. That's for sure. Uh, we need a piece of cable here. We'll get some more right there. I guess we can bring that down here. We'll be able to hide all this cable too. There's actually covers we can make, I believe. Uh, to be able to hide all the cabling from refined storage. I think you just need a cutting knife. Anyway, that should be that. You should be able to go in here now. Look for essence. And uh, look at it all, man. <laughs> look at all the glory. Hasn't even been going very long. And uh, it's starting to get up there. Producing a fair amount. And uh, it's just going to keep going up for the rest of the pack. And that's pretty fantastic. Anyway, let's kind of get this kind of semi-covered up here. I will have to come in here and kind of finish off this area. We can make facades uh, to cover all this cable here. Here I'll probably just put some block and hide the cloches completely. And then, yeah, you'll be able to just see the drawers and whatever kind of block you decide to decorate this with, I guess. And uh, it will look pretty good. I think it'll look pretty slick. Anyway, let's get the rest of that done. That there, that there. And then a few of these puppies. So yeah, we've already made giant advances as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't seem like we did a lot, but this is really a big deal. <laughs> Especially to me... Because it means I have to run around so much less. And you kind of do the same thing in your world. You'll have access to all your items in your system. Be able to spread around your wireless and get that kind of stuff all done. I do need to do this with chickens too. So I already have the drawers here. Uh, but we're going to do the item transfer a little different. I think we're going to use a whole bunch of flat transfer nodes to get this done. So let's actually go here. Grab some uh, flat transfers. Do I have an anvil actually? I don't. Oh, I do. I have uh, seven slightly damaged. Don't know if those work or not. Anyway, let's go some transfer nodes. I think those slightly damaged were from one of the chance cubes early on. The transfer node, it is right there for whatever reason. Go here. Yes, let's make a whole bunch of these because we're going to need a ton. That's probably more than enough. And then we should be able to take those and drop them under an anvil. We're going to see if it works here. There we go. <laughs> There's several hundred of them. I guess we only need a hundred, but it doesn't hurt to have more. And uh, that's going to be how I transfer the items into the drawers. And it's going to be able to go fast now. So I literally just have to kind of come across here, throw these on all the chickens. Then I'll be able to design a drawer, throw them in place. And all the items will automatically go in the drawer. And I don't have to use any kind of other transfer method. So it's going to work really good with the chickens, I think. Uh, with the cloches, it's nice because they, you know, automatically escort. Uh, but where these things have kind of a production time, right? So you look at this. The time it moves and kind of creates one item... It should uh, move all the necessary items into the drawers. And uh, we can just kind of do that method. So there you go. There's 50 of them. <laughs> just done. And I do love my flat transfer nodes. I am a bit of a junkie, I will admit. They're just so nice because they just fit between blocks. I just love that kind of special kind of capability they have that no other block really has. To be able to just do a transfer between two different blocks without having to have a space. It's just uh, pretty sweet. The only thing that would make these better, and we were actually, I was talking this to a Patreon last night, would be uh, if you could actually get speed upgrades in these. It would be, these things would be just straight up broken. But anyway, we'll take that, we'll throw that in there. I need to come up with a drawer. I'll probably use some kind of mineral combination, or mineral wood, I guess. Or we could do crystals. Maybe let's start with wood. Let's do this and see if we can find a combination that works here. How many do we need here? That's 2550. We need about 100 uh, different drawers. Probably put them down in a cut because you guys probably don't want to watch that. Anyway, let's make some planks. <laughs> do that. Let's throw that in there. Which way do I want it? Like that? No. Maybe like this? That's not too bad, right? I don't know. Huh. Or do I want it like this? I want to make sure the edges. Yeah. Let's try that one. Let's go with that. That looks good. So let's do that. And uh, I think we got some more of these. I think I said I needed about 100 of these. Uh, let's go ahead and do some more. Sweet. 
and uh, make sure I make the same one and don't derp because that'd be very easy to do. Not there, maybe right there. And uh, where's the other one? I want like this, right? Yes. Sweet. That looks like about 100 there. I might be too short, but I can come back and make a couple more if we need it. And anyway, I'm just going to get these all down, but I want to show a couple here just so you can see how this is going to work. Just going to put it down and boom, eggs. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? All the items are just going to start automatically piping into these very quickly. And they'll just kind of empty out, right? So just kind of empty out into. Don't want to do that. Sweet. <laughs> empty out of here slowly. So it's just coming through. And this thing's producing. Oh, this is just the lapis blue, I guess. I never sped up this one. This is what I should breed. I was thinking all the dye chickens, I didn't need to breed them up. Uh, but lapis would make sense. But anyway. Uh, yeah, but anyway, they'll just kind of get pumped into the drawers. And uh, once they do, we can get them all linked up. And get all these items pulled in the system as well. Which is going to be utterly amazing. And okay, I got all the drawers in place. It actually doesn't look too bad. I think once we have mineral wood kind of in the, in the middle, kind of going across. I'll kind of even it out. I could do it on this side already. But this side here, I'll still need to access some of these. Because I don't have chickens in them yet. But uh, yeah, it's going to work pretty well. Uh, we do need to get this linked up here. Don't know how I'm gonna do that. I need to get in there yet again. Uh, I need a new way though. Every time I want to go in here, I need a new way. Uh, let's go through this way this time. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, definitely not planned out very well. Let's do that. Let's do that. And uh, are we inside yet? Did we break in? I think we did. Uh, we're gonna go in behind this, I guess. Maybe this way, right here. There we go. And just run a line. I guess this way would be the best way to do it. And then once we have a line, I mean, we're good to go. We'll have to go underneath, get it hooked up to the other door controller. And then we're going to have even more <laughs> kind of items just in the system. I will have to make an immense amount of door upgrades. That is going to be something I have to do. Uh, and I don't think I need void upgrades for this at all, because I think everything's going to kind of stop producing uh, once we kind of have it in the system, right? Uh, do that. I mean, if they're full. So if one of these drawers gets full, uh, it'll just stop producing, but I'm just going to make tons of the emerald upgrades, the door upgrades. That should handle that. So if I go in here now, and uh, I don't need what's in these drawers. What's something that's for basals? There we go. Basal rods. They're coming in. They're going in the drawer, and uh, I know they're not anywhere else. There's nowhere else they're coming in, so it's actually being seen by the system now. So yet again, we got all the stuff in there. I do need to set the priority a little higher in this one. So when that stuff comes in the system, we don't have to worry about it. Worry about it. I see a little angry Enderman over there. <laughs> we gotta get rid of him real quick. Anyway, let's dig down here. So we have to do our same kind of tunnel setup. There we go. Sweet. This IOT works like amazing. <laughs> when I made it, I didn't expect it. To, I knew it was gonna work good. I didn't realize it was gonna be just so effective. This thing is a really good idea. It just never breaks, man. It just can't. <laughs> because of that repair talisman. Actually quite happy I made this. I was complaining about not getting any really good items in this pack, but that repair talisman is pretty beefy. Anyone that's got that, I have, must say, has been pretty lucky. That is a pretty good little item there. It's just been a lot of use in this pack. It's been able to repair a lot of things. Uh, do I literally... Are you serious right now? Uh oh I'm angry. <laughs> Let's, uh, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this one's off, right? Yeah, that one's off. I need to move this door controller. I thought that was going to mess something up, but didn't. <laughs> I just need to kind of rearrange that. I obviously just put that in the wrong place. Because I have these uh, 25 wide, right? They're kind of set in an exact way. So everything can kind of work. Anyway, let's do that. thought it was going to be more work. But that was just in my head. Let's do you. Get this one up here. And I guess I'm going to have to come behind this, aren't I? Now that I think of it. So I'm going to have to go two more back. <laughs> Just to get a tunnel to nowhere fast. Do that. Sweet. And uh, yeah, I guess we can just get the uh, external storage on this puppy. Pop that there. Go ahead and uh, jack this in really quick. And by next episode or even two episodes from now, you're going to see just like having these drawers, especially once I get the upgrades in here, that we're going to start getting massive amounts of resources. So I don't know if it's been translating how good our production is, but uh, these chickens in particular... Um, they actually make mystical agriculture look slow, honestly. Chickens are harder to do, the mystical agriculture. This is one of the reasons I didn't want to do it first, because I knew um, mystical agriculture is a little slower, but uh, you can start almost as soon as you start the, plot, the pack, right? As soon as you have a mob farm. And uh, I want to have at least a little work to do, so I went the chicken route, 
But uh, chickens produce so quickly that once you do have them done, you just have resources the entire pack. I don't know, man. That acceleration wand just makes this stuff so easy. Anyway, that should be that. So what do we have over there that we kind of check? In particular, glass. So glass. Is glass coming in the system now? I just want... Oh, I'm not going to see it with that much in there. <laughs> I forgot glass. We already had a ton over there. I need something we have a little less of. What do we have a little less of? Flint. Probably don't have much flint in the system. Just want to make sure it is coming in. Yeah, we can actually see it coming in there. It's going up consistently. Just look how fast that goes up. Because every time it goes across, it actually produces three more, right? So each step is three when you have a gain of ten. And yeah, it's just a lot of items really quickly. But, uh, really silly, actually. Uh, what's the best way to get out of here? Let's put our floor back. Let's do that. And uh, fix our little floor on the outside. We'll have to break this connection for a second. That, that, and that. Maybe get that hooked back up. Make sure we have no spawnable blocks down here, too. Probably a good idea. You. There we go. And uh, probably check our power, too, because we need to kind of utilize that, or I guess keep track of that now. Uh, those network uh, transmitters actually take quite a bit of power. I'm just not sure, because we're not going that many blocks. The further the range, the more they take. I need to start tracking our power and uh, what we're kind of using here. So, yeah, this is actually awesome, I have to say, that we have access to these many items in our system without the items actually being in our system, which is what is kind of cool. What's really cool about it, actually. Let's go see this out here. Input 1.7. I want to see output. Put power input. Well, it's actually not using that much. It's toggling down. Yeah, it's using about 1.6. I think we're producing... I think we have a max. How many of these we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. That's 2,500 plus another 3. We have about 3,000. So we're only using about half our power. I'm curious how much those uh, network transmitters use. We need to go over here and check that. So that's only 67 RF right there. <laughs> that's not too bad at all. How much do these use? 9 each, 6 each. It's in there. Something's using a chunk of it though. How much are we using this? So I guess that's only 426. The rest of the power is uh, actually going to machines. So yeah, not too bad at all. The last thing we need to really hook up here is going to be the mob farm. And once we've done that, we have all of our items being able to see by performed storage. And uh, that's going to be amazing, <laughs> quite frankly. There you go. I went ahead and kind of wired up this area as well to have access to all of our materials here. So actually behind here, you kind of see I flew through a wall there. I'll show that in a second. Uh, I threw external storages down here. It's all connected. It's running underground. Uh, over here, we've got a block called the Sneaky False Block. I threw those there. They're actually really cool. You go to Sneaky, go to False. And uh, yeah, you just craft these puppies up. They just take a couple of these dwindle cream, some wither dust, and some slime ball. They combine that up, make the Sneaky, switch it over to a False uh, with some wool. And they're blocks that you can throw down. And uh, once you do, you can kind of decorate them when you first put them down do i have any on me yeah sneaky false block they look like portals <laughs> then you can put any block on top of them and then you can still go through them so they're just like a, a fake block right so you can kind of troll your friends or you can can kind of use them to hide kind of passages i use them here and i also use them over behind the farm here so i can kind of fly right through here access our network receiver and be able to turn this lever off if I ever need to without kind of having a big open gap here, which is what I was going for. So that's pretty cool. I got everything wired up on these controllers as well. So all those items are being seen by the system now. And uh, we got wireless, of course, right? So yeah, we have uh, tons of blades powder here. Actually, that's not right. Actually, no, that is right. That's blades powder. I think we have tons of blaze rods. I saw that, right? Uh, yeah, that's not right at all. 1.3k? Did I mess something up here when I did this? <laughs> I went down here and did some work. I'm just wondering if I broke the connection. Because we have a lot of blaze rods right now. So obviously that's not being seen by the system. Huh. It was working. Let's see. Let's go to blaze. Yeah, this isn't being seen at all. What did I do wrong? What did I derp? <laughs> Let's check real quick. So that's all connected. Oh, I broke a connection here. How did I manage this? I'm a total derp. Okay, let's get that back in. See if we can actually get everything working the way it's supposed to. Sweet. And then maybe get that kind of all hidden again. So that is pretty awesome. So yeah, I just got this all done. All the items are in the system. Everything should be seen now once we do this, right? So we go here. Yeah, you can see these numbers now. I wanted to show these ones because these ones are super high. Uh, these ones have a bunch of upgrades in them. 
So yeah, 83,000 bones, <laughs> tons of coal, 83,000 blaze rods, just tons of materials just sitting in there for no apparent reason. And uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about them. They've just been there the whole time. We just haven't been able to see the numbers. And the big numbers are nice to see, I have to say. So that's pretty awesome. Around our base, we got pretty good coverage with wireless now. I think I saw, I can make it close to here. Right about, it's going to turn off in a second. Yeah, right about here. So I will have to add in, add in another network receiver over here. Another wireless access point. But after that point, we have almost coverage over our entire base. We actually have it in the center of the sphere as well. Which is pretty amazing all around, I have to say. And uh, I did one more thing. I actually forgot to hit record. So I <laughs> I wired this up. Then I went in. I was I thought I was recording. I thought I was making these sneaky false blocks. I thought I was making these covers as well. So I actually have a couple of them on us. Uh, the covers, you just use a cutting knife and kind of the tool. Or sorry. Cutting knife and the block you want to use. You can use those to cover cables. So I hit a cable there. And I guess the last thing I did was make a painting machine. <laughs> which is right here. And uh, I was just making some facades. So the facades are super easy to make. Let's go to uh, right here and grab some, I guess, some binder. Do that. Let's make uh, like that much. <laughs> Let me take a second there. We'll make a couple more facades because we do need to cover up anyway uh, over by where we're working with our bunch of call machines, the chickens and stuff. Let's go to Ender. Go. Grab those ones. Grab a bunch more of those. There's another 32. And uh, this machine is super cool. I, I I used to love this thing, but I haven't used it in a while just because I haven't been using it. Oh, you really only need one of these blocks in here. And I'll paint anything that's in there. So a conduit facade. Uh, I think you could do cobblestone and stuff as well, right? So pretty much any block and make it look like another block. It's just the joys of these facades is that can be used to be put on top of the conduit and hide conduit. So that's the whole point of that, which is pretty awesome. So I could take these, right? Run them over here and say, hey, I don't want to see these conduit anymore. <laughs> just make them go away. You'll never even know they're there. It's just going to look like a nice flat area. And uh, no one will even know, man. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet all around. So pretty happy with that. I am going to make some more of those. Kind of get that going. I'm also going to most likely come here. And I think I counted out. I think I need 600 emerald upgrades. <laughs> Which sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. That's, what, 1,200 emeralds? And just in this video, how much emerald do we have now? Emerald, we have 1.6k. Before we started this video, we were probably lucky if we had about, I don't know, 600 or so. So, yeah, not going to take very long at all. Get that done. Probably get this area kind of prettied up and maybe breed a few more chickens. And okay, I think I'm going to end this one here. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.